ancient legends tell of a twisted, misty land far beyond the desert of Agrabah, which one can only find by passing on through many old-growth Tanglewood forests, in and through the Lost Woods, through the Enchanted Forest and the Forbidden Forest. The determined adventurer must continue on through Mirkwood and Fanghorn, braving and besting all manner of fearsome monster along the way, through the Hundred Acre Wood, the Amazon, and Sherwood, and the Truffula Forest, on to a weird and wild land where great, impregnable, and uninterested beasts roam in unknown shapes. Here, it was said, the bulb could carefully and painlessly extract an essence from the creatures as they grazed and gazed, an immeasurably valuable stuff needed for the act of creation, for the making of art. Now, however, days, centuries, and some eons later, ways have changed, and all the king's horses and all the king's men stamped out these amorphous beasts, and the way to that land has been long forgotten. And so, to many, all was lost. Gone were the golden days of art by bravery, by long journey there and back, by physical strength and risk of great harm. Some languished with dry pens and crusty brushes, lacking this crucial ingredient so long imported from afar, they faded into obscurity. A howling gap was left, and a curious thing happened, almost by mere necessity and the need to create. Some found another path to that land, a way to reanimate the nebulous animals and a new source of the creative essence. Looking inwards, they soon saw that there was no need at all to venture out across perilous lands. There was no purpose in risking life and limb for this mythical lifeblood, when that very same stuff flowed endlessly, fully, and fruitfully in themselves. They began creating there, in front of themselves, and from themselves, their own tangled and viney forests, their own shifty beasts, and pulling from their creations always a bit more of that tasty tincture, that prized extract, the good stuff, inspiration.